Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Sharita and the name of my channel is Unique by Sharita. So in this video, we will be decorating my Christmas tree. I have a video showing how I took this old Christmas tree and flocked it with some snow flock. The colors I chose for this tree are gold, silver, gray, pink, and brown. Well, let's just call it bronze since bronze do sound better. Well, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Let me start by saying I have not been trained on decorating trees. I am not considered to be an expert. So I do understand there are several ways to achieve a look. I am just sharing with you all my way for this particular tree. Okay, so I'm going to create a bow for the top of the tree. Even though I realized I didn't have enough of the smaller ribbon, I did go ahead and install it, but you will see later I cut it off since I was going to do a tree topper. As my husband calls it, an explosion at the top of the tree. Just an FYI, I did use a pipe cleaner to tighten up the ribbon as well as use that pipe cleaner to attach it to the tree. And you can get pipe cleaners from Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree for like a dollar or so. Right, I chose this bronze ribbon. I got it from a boutique in Memphis. I'm just going to use it to make one run through the tree. I want more of the tree to show, so I'm going to do a wave pattern going deep into the tree. You can't tell from the video, but I'm installing the ribbon very loose, leaving room to gather and scrunch it later. One thing I want to share with you all, I do use the limbs of the tree to hold my ribbon in place. In this tree, it was kind of difficult because it didn't have a lot of the flexible limbs. So I did have to go pretty deep in the tree to catch a tree limb. As you can see, there's no special pattern. I am going deep into the tree and I want majority of the ribbon to kind of stay on the front and center because that's the first thing you see when you walk into the room. All right, I'm just going to grab the scissors and cut it on the end. As you see, I did leave it on the roll as I installed it. So you can always cut sheets or lengths, maybe two feet and do it a little different, but I chose to do it this way because I was going for more of a sporadic look. All right, I'm just going to roll the very end of the ribbon just so you won't see the cut in. There's no special way, just roll it up and tuck it under. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start installing the ornaments. In this part of the video, it'll be pretty much self-explanatory or I'll just say visual. I'm going to install the ornaments basically in a triangle pattern and when I say triangle pattern I try to make sure that there is a color of each color 
in the triangle pattern or maybe at a slant pattern. So I'm just going to eyeball it, which that is my favorite word because I like to eyeball a lot of things. So these ornaments, the brown and the gray, I did get from a Christmas decor store in Des Arc, Arkansas called The Guest Company. I did do a video there, so I may upload that one because it was a really fun store. Most of the ornaments I had from last year, the gold ones, I got those from Walmart and Hobby Lobby last year. I did keep them in totes. I do try to store my ornaments in totes by the color. I also got some pink ones, which you'll see me add those later. I got majority of those from Big Lots. So I'll link or I'll put majority of the information in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And don't forget, if you like these types of videos and you want to see more from me, please hit the subscribe button and turn your notification on. All right, so we're on day two. It usually doesn't take me two days, but I did decorate the other tree and moved into this room to start on this one because I needed some more product for the other tree. So I did go ahead and cut the ribbon off the top and I also wiggled in some inexpensive ribbon if you can kind of see it in the tree. It's the lighter color. I got it from Hobby Lobby. It was $5. So now I'm just going to go ahead and continue adding some more ornaments and then we'll go into the tree topper.
do want to apologize. I didn't realize that the topper was cut off, but as you can see, I start from the middle with the topper. I do spread it out before I insert it into the tree and then I go from side to side. So I ended up putting five of these stems into the tree to make it full and then I inserted two of the other stems, one on each side um, that has more of a leaf look. So you'll see me do that also in this video. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add the gold leaf shaped stems throughout the tree. I got these from the Guest and Company in, in Desert, Arkansas. You can find something similar if you don't have a uh, company that's close to you. I've seen some similar at like Hobby Lobby and Walmart. I mean, they have really, Hobby Lobby and Walmart have really stepped their game up in the glam tree decor. So check and see if you can find something similar. If you do like this look, you, you can probably find um, something similar at one of those stores. I'm one happy lump of disposal lot, but can I get some chicken fat? Okay, so I'm just going to add these blinged out poinsettias. I did get these from Hobby Lobby. They were $2.50 each. I have seen some a little bit similar at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and Dollar General for like a dollar fifty. So, but these are a little more heavier and they are beaded. So just an FYI if you want to do something similar on a budget.
I'm going to go ahead and finish up decorating the tree. I'm going to add the tree skirt. I got it from Home Goods. It was $25. I am going to adjust a few ornaments to make sure the decorations are balanced. I really love the way the tree turned out. If you like it too, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button. I will be continuing my Christmas decor throughout the house. So please make sure your notification is on so you will know when I post videos. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.